Elon Musk has revealed detailed plans for a monumental mission to Mars. However, the journey ahead will not be without major challenges. SpaceX will have to overcome many obstacles to make this dream a reality. So how exactly will SpaceX achieve its ambitious goal? Let's dive into the details of today's NR Studio episode. Subscribe, like, and share so you don't miss the next exciting episode. All right, let's get started. For humanity on its journey to the red planet, as we approach 2024, humanity is closing in on one of its most ambitious goals yet, the colonization of Mars. SpaceX, led by visionary Elon Musk, has made significant progress in developing the technology needed to make this dream a reality. The fully reusable Starship, a spacecraft capable of carrying large payloads and resupplying into orbit, has been in rapid development with significant milestones being achieved along the way. While the journey will be challenging, Musk has outlined a clear path to Mars, signaling that we may be on the verge of a new era in space exploration. One of the most frequently asked questions is, when will SpaceX reach Mars? On September 7th, Musk used X, formerly Twitter, to provide a more specific timeline. He announced that the first spaceship to Mars would launch in two years, when the next Earth-Mars transfer window opens. This statement suggests that the first unmanned mission to Mars could occur in late 2026 or early 2027, in line with previous estimates. This first flight will be critical in proving the reliability of the Mars spacecraft's landing capabilities. Musk emphasized that the landing will initially be unmanned to test the reliability of a full landing on Mars. If the landing goes well, the first manned flight to Mars could occur in four years. Landing on Mars presents unique challenges compared to missions to Earth or the Moon. The planet's atmosphere and harsh conditions make landing a large spacecraft like Starship much more complicated than the smaller rovers and landers NASA has previously sent. But the success of the unmanned landing paves the way for a human mission, which Musk predicts will happen around 2028 or early 2029. The timing of the mission is dictated by orbital mechanics. When Mars is in a favorable alignment for space travel, it occurs every 26 months when the two are closer together, a period known as the launch window. SpaceX has designated this window as a milestone, and Musk has said every launch opportunity is crucial to advancing its mission. If the unmanned mission in 2026 to 2027 goes according to plan, the first humans could set foot on Mars by 2028, marking a historic step forward in space exploration. With humans arriving, Musk's plan is to begin the colonization process in earnest. The pace of the hijacking will increase exponentially from there, with the goal of building a self-sustaining city in about 20 years, Musk said. In Musk's eyes, making humanity a multi-planetary species is essential to ensuring the survival and expansion of human consciousness. Becoming multi-planetary would greatly increase the potential for lifetime consciousness, since we would no longer have all of our eggs literally and metabolically on one planet, Musk explains. The implications of this are enormous. Musk's plan protects humanity from a potential extinction event on Earth, whether caused by a natural disaster, a pandemic, or even a self-inflicted disaster like nuclear war or climate change. By establishing a colony on Mars, humanity would take the first step towards spacefaring civilization. At the heart of this vision is SpaceX's next-generation spacecraft, designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying large payloads. Musk has stressed the importance of Starship's cargo capacity to successfully complete its Mars mission. The current Starship 5-1 can carry just under 100 tons of cargo, while the V-2, which is already in production, will exceed that figure. Finally, the 150-meter-tall Starship Mossy 3 will be able to carry more than 200 tons of cargo per flight. SpaceX recently revealed a more ambitious payload target, saying that the Max Paley standard reference to Earth orbit is actually about 180 tons for Starship 1 fully reusable, and about 300 tons will be expended. This last image is a comparison of the spaceship with the Saturn V. More than 100 tons in Starlink orbit is the minimum operational limit. For Mars colonization, the math is clear. SpaceX estimates that it would take 1 million tons of cargo to build a self-sufficient oil city capable of supporting a million people. To achieve this, SpaceX would need to launch Starship up to 10 times a day during each Mars transfer window, 
delivering a total of 250,000 tons of cargo to Mars each time. In four launch periods, or about eight years, SpaceX could deliver the required million tons of payload. All going according to plan, this process fits neatly into Musk's 20-year timeline for building a colony on Mars. But building a city on Mars won't be cheap until 2028 or 2029. Musk has been clear about the enormous costs of doing business. But SpaceX's approach has always been focused on reducing costs through reusability. The Falcon rockets have tested this concept, and now Starship aims to take it to the next level. SpaceX is creating the first fully reusable rocket stage, and more importantly, making reusability economically viable. Musk said in his latest article that optimizing costs will be critical to the success of the mission. He also talked about how expensive it would be to send cargo to Mars under current conditions. It currently costs about a billion dollars per ton to get to the Martian surface. That would have to increase to a hundred thousand dollars per ton to build a self-sustaining city there. So the technology would have to be 10,000 times better, Musk said. As SpaceX eyes Mars, it's important to remember the impressive accomplishments it's made so far and the significant work that still needs to be done. Last year, SpaceX made incredible progress with its Starship program, completing four integrated test flights. One of the most notable moments was the successful landing of both Starship stages, an achievement that marked a major step toward full reusability. This is crucial to SpaceX's long-term goal of colonizing Mars, as reusability would significantly reduce the cost and complexity of repeat missions. The next big challenge for SpaceX is Flight 5, expected sometime in October, where SpaceX will attempt a revolutionary maneuver by retrieving the Super Heavy Booster using the Mechazilla Arm, a massive structure designed to catch and stabilize the rocket as it descends. If successful, it would be a major step toward full reusability. Next up, Flight 6, or Flight 7, is intended to retrieve the Super Heavy Booster and Starship, the first fully reusable rocket system. This flight represents a major milestone in SpaceX's roadmap, with full reusability a key part of its Mars mission strategy. While the technological challenges are daunting, SpaceX has made it clear that the journey to full operational Starship will likely take until late 2020 to 2024 and early 2025. Once recovery is mastered, SpaceX plans to increase the frequency of its launches, thereby improving reliability and efficiency. Alongside this, they are also developing an orbital fuel system, a critical component to enable long-duration missions to destinations such as the Moon, Mars, and beyond. This refueling system will allow Starship to carry more cargo and travel farther without having to return to Earth to refuel. A revolutionary capability for interplanetary travel. As SpaceX continues to advance, it is continuing to improve Starship's capabilities. This includes transitioning to newer, more powerful versions of the spacecraft, such as Starship Wave 2, which will allow for greater payload and operational flexibility. Recent improvements to the Raptor engines, heat shield, and other critical systems reflect SpaceX's continued innovation. The company is not only focused on the spacecraft itself, but also expanding its operations on Earth. The completion of a new test system and the construction of the Star Factory and additional launch towers are expected to significantly increase SpaceX's operational capacity, helping it meet the aggressive launch requirements it has set for itself. But technological advancements are not the only challenges facing SpaceX. The company must also navigate the complex web of regulatory approvals required to accelerate the launch rate. SpaceX has proposed plans to conduct up to 25 launches per year from Starbase and 44 launches per year from its Florida facility, paving the way for higher launch volumes in the future, potentially thousands of launches per year. However, these ambitious plans depend on obtaining the necessary approvals from the FAA and other regulatory agencies. Current procedures are not up to the scale of SpaceX's plans, and the company has frequently encountered delays due to environmental and government regulations. To overcome these obstacles, SpaceX will need to work with these agencies to improve the approval process and demonstrate the reliability of its operations. Proving that Starship can operate safely and efficiently at high volumes is critical to realizing Musk's vision. Musk and his team will certainly face challenges, but their determination and focus on a clear goal, 
will keep the Mars dream within reach. With each successful test flight and technological advancement, Humanity moves closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. Starship is poised to play a major role in this journey, and as SpaceX accelerates, the ambitious goal of setting foot on Mars moves closer to reality. This is a pivotal moment for SpaceX. The groundwork has been laid, but there is still much to be done. The question is, are you ready for the next chapter in humanity's journey of space exploration? See you in the next episode.